Hey guys, welcome back. It's good to have you here. Rick Corvette Conti. I uh, haven't done any vlogging the last couple of days. Your end stuff's been real busy here on this side of the business, but I want to continue to share our experiences, our knowledge, and our excitement and passion for Corvette with you throughout the world. So yeah, it's great to have you here. And why I haven't done any vlogging the last couple of days? I'm tired, man. <laughs> I had to do that uh, uh, the year end video, and I was trying to make sure I had pictures of everybody that we sold to in the past year. Uh, of course, we, we missed some people, and part of it was not, not in our control, is uh, we ship cars all over the country, and we really hope to get those pictures back once they get settled, once they get excited with their new car, whatever part of the country they may be in. And, and sometimes we just don't get we don't get the, the pictures back, and that's okay. Like I said before, we're, we, we get busy. Uh, but just the other day, I had some really nice people in here uh, to show you that I take care of my existing customers, even if it doesn't have anything to do with uh, with Corvette. Uh, real good friends, real good Corvetters. Uh, and life changes. Uh, they end up buying a new Suburban from me, Tom and Nicole did, and that was cool, and they love it. Really loaded out LTZ, just a beautiful truck, and it'd be great for their family. And they'll be back into the Corvette world that I try, they'll be back. I promise you that. We had some other really neat customers to come in too. You know what? And I'm, uh, I'm really getting into doing this vlogging and sharing all kinds of just real stuff kind of happening within my world of representation for Corvette, as, as we've said before. Uh, and I'm mad that I didn't turn the camera on because uh, I had Chris that uh, uh, gave us a lot of confidence. Uh, he's from Michigan, but he called me when he was in Vegas. We put a nice special up on a on a closeout 16Z51. Uh, he calls me while he's in Vegas. We go through the process and what you got to do. Boom. Puts a credit card down, buys a car, wires the money next day, you know, just the way it's supposed to go down, you know. And, of course, you get that nervousness because, you know, he's in Vegas and I'm here in Ohio. And uh, that deal went great. He was here the other day. Really nice to meet him, and I appreciate that confidence. It was funny because we... Um, we talked about our experiences and on getting burnt and buying stuff online and uh, I only bought one thing ever on eBay and uh, I remember buying this piece of Corvette memorabilia and uh, I, you know I buy it, I pay for it and all that stuff and I, and, and I forget what it was. It should have been something that came in a box about like this, okay? So I get this envelope in the mail and I'm like, what is this? This isn't, this isn't right. So I, I open up the, uh, the envelope and it's a picture of what I bought. I actually bought a picture of what would have been Corvette memorabilia. <laughs> I was like, are you freaking kidding me? But that's what they say, live and learn. You know, so I was fortunate enough to actually have a die cast model of the car that Chris bought. So I text him when we were talking while he's still in Vegas and I text him, uh, you know, that's what brought the story up. So I text him a picture of this die cast model. Hey, I got this for you, it matches the car. Congratulations, thanks for the business. He goes, oh, is that what I bought? That's my real car. So we thought, yeah, you're gonna fly in. Yeah, here's your car. You just paid 70 grand for it, whatever the heck it was. <laughs> no, 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 not the case. Not the case. So that went down really cool. Um, another gentleman came in from Eastern Pennsylvania bought himself a really, really sweet, and we'll get pictures up of those in our family member gallery on CorvetteConti.com. He bought himself a nice, kick-ass black Grand Sport 7-speed, and Rob came here all the way. I think it was almost an eight-hour drive. Uh, came here at the end of the year, beginning of the year, kickoff type of thing, and uh, picked up his car, and what a cool dude. Got his own business, got a meat shop, and it and it reminded me, of, and we talked about this on the phone before he came out, and it reminded me of my grandpa uh, in the years that I would work in his meat shop in Lincoln Park, Michigan, uh, during Christmas break when I was a kid, you know, learn how to count back money and, you know, weigh out meat and wrap it up. You know, so he brought me some sausage, some homemade sausage that they're famous for. And, you know, just as soon as I opened up, you know, brought in this bag and had ice packs in it and stuff, and as soon as I started to unwrap it, there was that thick white paper, you know, and it's just unfolding that thing, it's all rolled up. It's like, yeah, that reminded me of my grandpa, God bless him. And uh, Rob, you were right, man, that stuff was fantastic. I got out of here late last night when I got home, of course, everybody had eaten. So what do I do? Hey, I open up the bag from Rob, I open up the, 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 the pan, and here, here we go, we start grilling. And uh, that sausage was fantastic, man. So congratulations on your Corvette, thanks for the sausage, and we just keep moving forward, man. We got a lot going on. So I'm trying to get myself uh, upright and uh, and uh, feeling better. Uh, I'm just exhausted. I really am. Got some grapefruit here. In response to somebody said one time, I just said, "Hey man, why do you eat on your videos?" <laughs> this is all about being real, sharing everything with you, and that's my comfort level on camera with you so thank you so much for that 
Uh, we got a guy coming in today, Don, is coming in picking up uh, a white Z06. He's been looking at a lot of different Corvettes. Local guy, really cool. He's been coming in, checking things out. And it, and it seems to always kind of happen like that. He was looking at a Stingray, and then bam, at the last minute, he goes, ah, just, just write up the Z06. But he had seen some of our videos online. He goes, hey, you know what? I just look at these videos, and they're pretty cool. Hey, you know what's going to be pretty cool, Don? Is you're going to be in one, man, as soon as you get here. So thanks for the business, your support, and your kind comments. I appreciate that. Oh, and please don't be too hard on the comments. I mean, I probably look like crap right now. I mean, I feel like, you ever get, you're so tired to the point where it's hard to get up in the morning. I mean, you're just, you're really physically exhausted. You know, a lot of mine's just mental exhaustion and, of course, not having any sleep. Uh, but I just feel like someone just went, bam, and just punched me in the face. I just got the that punched in the face feeling but we're still pressing on and and having fun so hey thanks for uh, being and going easy on me all right <laughs> so there he is it's big d he's getting a new z06 and there he sat on the couch the other day what you and i must have bs for about a couple what hours a while. What a while. Yeah. and we talk about everything but cars <laughs> <laughs> this is true very true yeah. yeah my old radio days and all that cool stuff your car's outside man you want to go check it out let's do it all right man we had to uh Hey, that's what happens when you sell cars in the off season. He goes to buy it the other days. Yeah, buy it. Battery's dead. <laughs> it's like, okay, we congratulations. <laughs> so charge the battery, check the battery. Battery's good. So we had to reset the XM uh, signal. We're sending the satellite signal right now. So let's make sure we got some tunes. Oh, good. Yeah, it's starting to rain again. Darn it. I'm in the wrong seat. Yeah, you are in the wrong seat. Don't worry. We're going to switch this up here in a second. All I want to do is make sure your radio is working. Okay, we've got tunes. Everything's good there, man. So when we get done with all the uh, all the paperwork stuff, uh, I'll come out here. We'll take a picture of you in the rain. <laughs> but that doesn't seem to spoil getting a new vet. But uh, we'll show you how to use everything. We'll get you uh, set up with Bluetooth. Show you how to access these curb cameras real easy for you. Uh, Apple CarPlay, get you hooked up with OnStar, get your Wi-Fi identified, uh, how you wish to have it identified, and just some personalization settings, and we'll get all that stuff set for you, so you'll be, able to, be able to enjoy it. Okay, now what was that again? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm okay. laughs> hey, you got to remember, I'm just doing these videos, I haven't learned, figured out how to use the beep feature yet. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I can't believe I just bought a Corvette. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's cool, dude. Oh, I'm happy for you. I'm happy. You know, it's neat for me, I mean, just doing it as long as I have, and truly I can say this, because in the last generations, you'd get you'd get colors on the, on the cars that would look different and they would be okay. There really is just not a bad color on this new car. There just isn't. Awesome, so welcome to the OnStar family. And Mr. White, would you like to add anyone to your OnStar account that may be charging the vehicle? Kimberly White. Awesome. And also, while I'm adding Mrs. White, um, we do need to set up a four-digit PIN number for the account. Okay, so Don pulls out and then pulls in is the Corvette delivery truck from Bowling Green, Kentucky. Now, when these come in, I get excited. I mean, I order them. And I already know what's coming off the truck. But it's still like a little kid when I can be out here. When they come off, I get excited to see them. It's like, your creation. I'm sorry, I'll go ahead. i get out of the way so you can do your job. My bad. This gives you an idea how they're packed on the truck there. Gosh, we talk about black wheels a lot, you know what I mean? But here, look at this truck right now. Across, across the top, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six cars. Four of them have chrome wheels. Mmm. Just saying. <laughs> There's Collector Edition Grand Sport number 319 going to Saif in California. Congratulations. Oh, man. And look at this filthy cover. See what I mean? Look at, oh my gosh, look at the, look at the road grind. Yep. They serve a purpose, these in-transit covers. Uh, here's an in-stock unit. This is a uh, Grand Sport 1LT 7-speed car with your traditional red stripe. Can't see the fender hash marks. The white stripe down the center, black wheels. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a sweet car. And there's three people ready to buy this car, so by the time it hits the Internet, it'll probably be sold. A uh, white Grand Sport 
I'm real excited how I ordered this one. You can't see it yet. I can't wait to get this 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 off so I can show you our uh, red full length stripe for Grand Sport heritage package with red hash marks. It'll have red calipers, chrome wheels, and a red interior. Man, that is going to be really, really cool. So here's some tidbit information we just picked up for you, and I've known about some of this stuff for three years. Uh, now it's coming to be. Reality's kicking in. I really got to think about how we're going to move forward with our inventories. Uh, they're talking about the plant down there, and a lot of you know about the new plant extension that they're making. Looks like they're going to try and fire that up and make it go live sometime in the late summer. And it looks like we're also probably going to have three months of no Corvette production. That's what we anticipate. Again, totally unconfirmed, nothing official from GM yet, but we're getting some inside stuff. Wanted to share that with you. Kind of knew a few years ago this was coming, and it looks like the info I got three years ago is all coming to be uh, in regards to that and production and downtime and things like that. So we'll see what type of transition is going to happen. Doesn't mean anything major for the model. Again, it's really too early to tell. You want to see what happens for 2018 Corvettes? Well, that'll be revealed by General Motors at the National Corvette Museum. We'll be on location as we always are in late April in Bowling Green, Kentucky. But in the meantime, we've got a great car in front of us and we've got some fantastic deals. So that's incredible. Here's another thing I want to talk about while we're out here and we're continuing on with our video vlog. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this deep into the video and things that we're just uh, encountering and just kind of talking about. And um, it goes back to a little bit of what I was talking about before in the shipping video, where some of the folks like to order cars and drop ship their cars. For a lot of you folks on the West Coast that you don't really have a premier Corvette dealer and you don't have the availability and you certainly don't have the flexibility when it comes to pricing or what have you. I'm not talking way, you know, I'm talking way west. I'm talking California, Arizona, uh, all that. Uh, cars are hard to get. So you'll order the cars from us guys on the East Coast and do a drop ship. Now, I'm not really a fan of the drop ship for a couple of reasons. And let's just, let's just be real blunt. I don't like the way that the dealers treat the cars and treat you. And there's a reason you you didn't order from them in the first place, but think about that. So your car gets there, you see how it comes in with us. We keep the plastic on the seats for you. Keep it that way when we ship the car to you, but there's been many instances where, you know, a guy do a drop ship and to go in and get his car and there's just not that excitement, not that passion, not that care to take care of the car because they just, you know, they're getting paid, you know, $500 or whatever it is to, to handle the delivery and here's your keys and, oh, he wanted to know how to use everything. There's an owner's manual in the glove box. You probably should read that. You're like, wow, thanks a lot for the great experience. But that's not their gig, you know. It's, it's, it's through us that you're facilitating the retail sale part. So shipping it there, you got to worry about it. Here's the thing I told a lot of guys out there on the West Coast. When we ship these cars, drop ship, they'll go via rail out of Toledo. I'm pointing, I guess I'm, I'm standing in the lot and I'm pointing north. So I'm just, that's the Italian in me again. I'm sorry. So I'm putting Toledo's that way. So they go rail car out of Toledo and they don't go fast. Okay. When you drop ship a car from the time that it's built by the time it's to the dealership, it could be 45 days, sometimes longer. Just talk to the driver and he says they are stacked and they are booked at the rail yards. They can't even get cars out of there to get them shipped that the West Coast dealers are getting upset because they can't get their inventory. Hey, buying from us, shipping it direct to your home, not a bad option, not a bad option. The other thing is too, I guess, yeah, I don't know. Here I am just kind of thinking, thinking out loud while I'm doing this video, shame on me. I shouldn't use my outside voice. Well, I, I worry about the, uh, the handling and the care of the car and the potential damage of a rail ship then going to another facility, then back on a truck, then to the dealership, then back off a truck, and then eventually to your home. When you get to that point, for you folks that are shopping with us online and out of state and you don't have the privilege of, of being within driving distance, we'll walk you through it. We'll make sure you make the right decision, spend your money wisely, have fun doing it, and have confidence every step of the way, okay? Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. And you know what, folks? It's 2017, and here we go. We're going to keep coming at you with things that are going on, things that are just bouncing around. There's a little goofy head of mine. I'll just share them with you. And it's all relative to Corvette in our endeavors on how we represent and sell and experience 
you as a customer and us from the retail standpoint, getting the cars, getting them promoted, what's going on with the factory, what's going on today, what's going on tomorrow, all that good stuff, all shared right here on my vlog, Rick Corvette Conti. Please subscribe, I really appreciate your support. And I think for this episode, I think we've covered quite a bit. So uh, there's a lot more to come and you just never know what tomorrow brings. Thanks for making me a part of your Corvette family. If I'm not already, look forward to talking to you soon. Okay, I thought I was done with the vlog. Sorry, we're jumping back in here real quick. Was just filming online and was sharing with you the arrival of the Grand Sport Collector's Edition, number 319 of a thousand. That's Saif's car going to California. At the same time I was filming, taking a couple of pictures and I was texting some pictures as well. Well, I go sit back down to the office and I'm getting ready to edit this up. And he texts me back and kind of, kind of cool, sums it all up. He says, Rick, this is so amazing. You know what, it really is. For me too, it really is. I mean, he had found us on YouTube, he's been watching us online, buying a car from, from so far away, putting that confidence in us. What a great opportunity, what an exciting time, and what a thrill to be a part of it all. So congratulations to you, sir, and thank you for the opportunity, and thank you for so many of you Corvette fans, you sports car fans that are just digging what we're sharing and you're sharing in the experience. And if it hasn't been yet, I'll guarantee you, I'll guarantee you one day, it's going to be your day. We'll talk to you soon.